Looking for a four terabyte SSD? We're gonna talk about 17 different four terabyte SSDs, M.2 drives. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel, and we have a fun one today. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go through 17 different four terabyte NVMe SSDs right now that are selling on Amazon, and I'm gonna show you the cost per terabyte of those, they're all four terabytes, but I'm gonna show you the cost per terabyte of the most expensive down to the least expensive, and you're gonna be shocked at how low they're getting. It's crazy, so stay tuned to see what the price is way at the bottom, and then I'm gonna give you my sleeper, my choice in between there somewhere. What is the best one I recommend for that cost? Now, if you watch my channel before, a couple different things here. Um, you know I do a ton of different reviews of SSDs. Take a look at all these things, all right? But I'm not gonna be dealing with that today, so. Let's get rid of those, all right? I'm gonna be dealing with Amazon today. And these are all gonna be, in, the links will be in Amazon if you wanna check them out. So you know my channel, though I do a lot of Mac stuff, I test these 40 gigabit per second, you know, enclosures like this, but we're not doing that today either. So I'm gonna throw that over there. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna share my screen, I'm gonna go through all 17 of these really quickly. I'm gonna give you how fast they are, the cost per terabyte. So it's kind of the cost per terabyte, to, you know, it's whatever the cost is divided by four terabytes. And then I'm gonna give you my pick at the end. So let's see what's on there, let's go. All right, so the very first one's very expensive, but it's the only Gen 5 SSD we have on the list today. So if you look over here, this is Gen 5, it's the Crucial T700, four terabytes, 479 bucks. That comes out to $120 per terabyte, so $120 per terabyte. Now, the cool thing about this thing is up to 12,400 megabytes per second, but you need the equipment to run this, you need the motherboard, you need all that stuff, so most people can't use this, but this is the most expensive. Right now, there's maybe a few other ones, but this one's probably the top as far as speed, but you need stuff to run it. Number two, Fire Cuda 530, four terabytes. This is 365.75. The price per terabyte is $91 per terabyte. So it's, get, it's going down, but it's gonna go way lower, trust me. Now this one's capable of up to 7,300 megabytes per second, so still really fast. Number three is probably the most common on the list. It's gonna be the Samsung 990 Pro. You can see it right here, four terabytes. Cost is $344.99, expensive, right? That comes out to $86 per terabyte on that. $86 per terabyte, still high, right? Anyways, this is capable of, let me see here, 7,400, around 7,400 megabytes per second. Number four, we have the Western Digital Black four terabyte SN850X right here, 286 bucks, 287 bucks. Price is dropping. What that equates to is $72 per terabyte. We're getting lower, but nowhere close to the bottom of this thing, so stay tuned for that. This one's capable of, like I said, around 7,300 megabytes per second. Number five, this is the Western Digital four terabyte. It's basically the Red SN700. So this is more of a NAS drive. It's more for speed, but it's more for putting in NASes. It works really well with that. And uh, this is only $270 or $270.65 right now. That equates to roughly $68 per terabyte. All right, the next one's a mouthful, but it's an actually really good SSD drive. A lot of people don't know about it. It's the PNY M280 CS3140, four terabyte, crazy name. And it's 269 bucks right now. And let me just see here really quickly. This one's capable of up to 7,500 megabytes per second. And it's $67.50 per megabyte. So we're getting down there. Number seven, we have the Acer Predator GM7000, four terabytes, 250 bucks, flat 250 bucks. This one's capable of around 7,400 megabytes per second, and the cost per terabyte, 63 bucks. All right, so how cheap can we get? We're not even close, all right? So the next one is the A-Data. This is the Legend 960, the A-Data four terabyte. You can see the cost here, it's 229.49. So rounding that up to here, let me just see what that comes out to, around $57 per terabyte. And this is capable of around 7,400 megabytes per second. All right, number nine, this is the Crucial P3 Plus. So this is a Crucial line, everyone knows the P3 line. This one right now is at $206.54. We're getting down there, so you can see it right there. This one's capable of around 5,000 megabytes per second, so slightly slower, and it's only $52 per terabyte. All right, number 10, we have the PNY CS2241, four terabytes, $199.99, so slightly lower yet. And let's just see here, this one's capable of around 5,000 as well, megabytes per second. And now this is down to $50 per terabyte. All right, the next one's another one a lot of people have not heard about. This is gonna be the Lexar. It's the NM790, you can see it right here, 198 roughly, somewhere in that cost. It's right now 6% off. 
and this one's capable of around 7,400 megabytes per second, and now we're down to about $49.50 per terabyte. Number 12, how low can we go? We're gonna go quite a bit lower. So this one's the Kingston NV2 4 terabyte right now. This can do 3,500 megabytes per second, so not the fastest, obviously. And if we look this up, it's 192 bucks right now on Amazon, and that cost equates to about 48 bucks per terabyte. All right, so we got number 13 now. This is the Crucial P3 4 terabyte. The one I just talked about was the Pro model. This is not the Pro model. This is only a Gen 3 model. Now this one actually is only 3,500 megabytes per second only, right? Still really fast. And this is only 190 bucks right now, pretty much flat even. So what does that come out to? It comes out to about $47.50 per terabyte. All right, we only got four left. So what's the lowest here? We're at number 14 now. This is actually the Silicon Power 4 terabyte UD90. This one actually, let me just see here, it's capable of around 5,000 megabytes per second, and it sells for about 162.97, 162 bucks, 163 bucks in there. That equates to around $41 per terabyte. All right, number 15, how low can we go? This one's actually the Team Group MP34 4 terabyte. Cost is 161.99 right now. That comes out to around $40.5 per terabyte. So we're getting down almost to even below 40 bucks here. That one's capable of about 3,500 megabytes per second. All right, the next one I can barely pronounce, but we're at number 16 now. This is the, I guess, Fanzang S660, four terabytes right here, 157.99. Actually, and this is gonna be, let me see, speed's capable of up to 5,000, so still pretty fast here. These all have really good reviews. You can see 4.6 even on this out of 1,500 rating. So these are all unknown, but they're still pretty good you know, quality overall. Do your own research on it. It says 157.99, what is that at? $39.50 per terabyte. We're below the $40, but how low can we go on the last one? Right, and the winner is for the lowest price per terabyte. Doesn't always mean it's the best, right? I'm just telling you what it is on Amazon right now. This is gonna be number 17, the Levin JP600, four terabytes right here, 144.99, you can see it here on Amazon. Third, and it comes out to basically $36 per terabyte. $36 per terabyte, that's the lowest I found right now. This is capable of around 3,000, somewhere in that range, megabytes per second. So again, not the fastest drive, but you're getting it for $36 per terabyte, a four terabyte drive, obviously, which is crazy, right? All right, so after showing you all these things, all the way from the high, I think it was $120 per terabyte, all the way down to $36 per terabyte, you're gonna ask yourself, why in the world would I pay 120 instead of 36? What's the difference, right? Well, what you wanna do is you really wanna find a midpoint here, the best quality drive for the cost, and that's what we did here. So what our pick is, it's actually one that you might be surprised with. If you look over at my screen, this is the one we kind of pick here. It's an editor's choice in Amazon as well. It's, uh, the, it's the Lexar 790 right here. It's, the, it's called the NM790, just to be exact. It's 198 bucks here. Let me see what that comes out to. So if you go up here to Lexor, if I can find it, it's, a, it's under 50 bucks per terabyte, 49.50 per terabyte, and uh, it's not a bad drive overall, but it can go up to 7,400 megabytes per second. And this is actually the one that we pick as a winner. Not only us, we didn't just pick it, but if you look in here, let me go ahead and close this down. Here's PC World, and they actually picked, a, you know, is a great drive as well. You can see it here on the PC World website. They said at a glance, it has excellent performance, super affordable, maintains good pace during long writes. And then it just says it has some slow random writes. All right, so anyways, that's our pick. We're sticking to it. We think it's the best value in this mix right now for the, for the cost per terabyte. Again, 120 bucks down to 36 bucks. You gotta pick one of those in there. And this has got some really good awards coming to it. Seems like it performs really well. It has a 4.8 out of five on Amazon as well. So overall, it's a great drive. These will all be in Amazon too. I'll have the you know links to them in the description of the video if you wanna check them out. Let me know what you think out of all these as the winner for you. You definitely don't wanna go with the highest ones because they're just too high right now. And the lowest ones, you know, you might wanna stay away from. All right, so let's wrap up the video. I hope you guys like stuff like this. I thought it was fun to do, figuring out what's the most expensive per terabyte all the way down to the least expensive, and then giving you our kind of pick of the day. There's a lot of sites that back this one up as well, so it's a good value, even though you've never probably heard of it before. Overall, these things are coming down so fast. I don't know how, you know, how low they're gonna go, we have no idea. But let me know if you guys like these videos. Definitely help me out. Click the like button, subscribe if you can. And I might do maybe two terabytes next because those are more common. And there's a lot of good deals going on those. So we'll get into that in a little bit. So we'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.